What's up boys, today I'll be showing you guys 10 tips and tricks you guys have to know to become a pro in NBA 2K23. This video will include gameplay tips, my career tips, VC methods, everything. And every single one of these 10 tips apply to both next gen and current gen. Make sure you guys watch until the end of the video so you guys get all 10 tips and let's hop in. Now this first one is kind of a beginner tip that a lot of people know, but this list will contain some more advanced tips as well. What I want you guys to do is hop over to your settings. So hop over and go to your settings, so the option slash quit. Again, this is on current gen as well. Go to controller settings and then change your shot meter to off. Off makes you green more shots. I will have chapters on the video though, so you guys can skip this part if you guys already know all about turning your shot meter off. So now we are in the team practice facility. I'm gonna show you guys how much better it is when you guys do have your shot meter off. Really what it does though is it opens your green window. So first shot here, I'll show you guys how easy it is to actually green with your shot meter off. So first shot here, as you guys can see, we have just greened that super easy, but it really is pretty easy to green when you guys are on the move. It really just opens up that green window as you guys can see right there. Even while moving, this is very, very good. But you guys first really have to know your jump shot and get that down first. So that leads me into tip number two here, and we're gonna head over now to our animations. This is actually tips number two and three. So what I want you guys to do is head over to the jump shot creator first. You guys just really wanna build the best jump shot for you. There are a couple of good jump shots that I'll show you guys right now to kind of master that jump shot. So this is actually my favorite jump shot in the entire game, and that's the one that I was greening with. It has a very, very big green window, and this one is obviously for players under right here, 6'5". So unfortunately, it's not gonna apply to everyone, and again, this one's on next gen, but this can also apply to current gen. There's just you can find jump shots anywhere if you guys look it up on youtube or tiktok or anything but i like base stephen curry with oscar robertson and matt thomas release two release speed is four out of four animation blend is 48 oscar robinson and then 52 matt thomas that's definitely my favorite jump shot although there are a couple other ones that i can show you guys this one is pretty solid as one this one is lamella ball base and also release one and then kyle lowry release two here and it's four out of four speed 50 50 ball and lowry although again this one is for under 65 now tip number three here is going to be in the gameplay animation section on next gen although again this is on current gen but what you guys want to do is hop over to the playmaking moves right here and just get the ones that are best for you guys if you guys are in my career you guys have to have your ball handle stats super high in order to unlock these i unfortunately do not have that so i cannot set my playmaking moves yet but I highly recommend doing so. So what I like here for the dribbling style is once you guys unlock it, I like Michael Jordan. Layup style, I like the uh, default small. That will be right here. Dunk style, I like uh, the rim grazer. So this one is unlocked for everyone. All you guys have to do if you guys want to get the rim grazer dunk package, it's super, super simple. Just go to the dunk style creator, make whatever name that you guys want, does not matter. And then just equip this rim grazer right here. Just equip it and you guys are set. Rim grazer is amazing. It gets super, super glitchy, especially for you shorter guys. Dribble pull up, I like Stephen Curry. When it comes to the spin jumper, I like Penny Hardaway. Hop jumper, I like James Harden. And then the post fade, I like the Pro 2. Then when it comes to playmaking moves, signature size up, I like Tracy McGrady for this one. Then when it comes to the size up escape package, I think Damian Lillard is a very, very solid one. Damian Lillard. Uh, moving step back though, when it comes to the moving step back, I actually like Luka Doncic. So Luka is very, very good. Then the moving behind the back, I actually like Zach Levine for this one. Next thing I want you guys to do is head over to wherever your Gatorade training facility is at. On next gen, it's really simple. It is right here on the map. Then I want you guys to head inside. And there's a couple drills that I recommend doing. First off, make sure you guys do this at least once a week. But that's not just the tip right there because I'm gonna be showing you guys the best workouts to do. So what I want you guys to do is head down and take a look at your boots and see if you guys can do your weekly workout. So right now, I can do my weekly workout. You guys can do this again once a week but there's a lot of very very good drills that you guys can do first off the agility ladder is definitely the best one when it comes to this type of workout that you guys have to do there's five different categories if you guys don't know i definitely recommend doing the agility ladder another one that is pretty simple to do is if you guys head over to the treadmills treadmills definitely a one that i recommend doing for sure that's probably the second best one battle ropes is definitely a little bit tougher but it's a lot easier than your other choice so battle ropes is what i'd probably recommend doing there I do like the dumbbells a lot here. Dumbbells in the back corner on next gen is uh, very, very simple to do. So the dumbbells back here are super, super easy to do. And then finally, the last one I like for sure is going to be the box jumps. The box jumps, you guys can see them doing down there. They're super, super simple to do. They are very, very easy. I love these box jumps and I highly recommend doing those five. So again, the agility ladder, the treadmill, the battle ropes, the dumbbells, and then box jumps are my five favorite workouts. Another thing I recommend doing is buying boosts. If you guys are playing games without making sure you guys have your boosts on, please buy boosts. You guys can see on next gen at least where all your skill boosts are and if you guys have any. So skill boosts, I have six right now for everything and I have three Gatorade turbo boosts. If you guys are ever out, just click on the get boost button and then buy some of these turbo boosts from Gatorade or you guys can buy the skill boosts. 
And if you guys are a shooter, 100% have the jump shot. Your, your shot completely changes. You will green more. You will hit more shots when you guys have this jump shot equipped. And if you guys are missing shots because of energy or are just low on energy, these gateway boosts are what help you guys a ton. If you guys all have all three of these, you guys will be set when it comes to energy. Tip number six is again a pretty basic one here, but and again, I'll hop into some more VC methods and more advanced tips towards the end when we get to the last couple of tips. But what I recommend doing is definitely go to season and then hop over to season events. If you guys are not taking advantage of these events, you guys are 100% missing out because these events are freaking huge. So let's load the face cam here and I'll show you guys. October 8th, 9th, and 10th, we have a ton of different events. So we have, again, Club 2K up here, by the way. That gets you guys times two badge progression. That is absolutely huge if you guys are trying to grind your badges. Green light is a very, very good one. That'll help you guys um, eventually get like XP tokens, I think it is, badge points. It gives you guys a bunch of different stuff. All the all of these events are a little bit different. We have Dunk Fest, Dime Time. You guys can get some assists. That'll help you guys out and get you guys some badges. And of course, Club 2K, like I said, that gets you guys times two badge progression. Affiliation Appreciation, that is a very, very good one because I believe that one gives you guys XP coins, which will get you guys higher up in level. But number seven is to do your daily wheel spins. But if you guys don't know, you guys can actually have two daily wheel spins a day. So let's do our wheel spin right here. And I'll show you guys how you guys can get your second wheel spin so you guys can spin the wheel two times every single day. Highly recommend doing these every single day if you guys are not, but right here we just got 1,000 VC. And what you guys can do if you guys want two daily wheel spins a day is you hop over on your Xbox if you guys have the $100 version of the game. You just hop over to the last version of the game and you guys can spin the wheel in that one as well. So if you guys get 1,000 VC from both your wheel spins, that's 2,000 VC and two wheel spins a single day. And if you guys don't know, you guys can get up to 250,000 VC from wheel spins, so it kind of doubles your chances of getting that 250,000 VC jackpot. Tip number eight, I want you guys to head over to your settings so go to options and then go to settings and once you guys are here i want you guys to mess with your game difficulty because this can help you guys out a crap ton if you guys are going for badges set your game difficulty to rookie but if you guys want some vc and if you guys want more my points then you guys can put your difficulty all the way up to hall of fame rookie gives you guys 30 percent of vc but again i'd only recommend playing on rookie if you guys are trying to grind those badge points otherwise if you guys are trying to get vc i recommend probably playing on superstar is very very easy still so superstar is probably the best route to take otherwise if you guys are having a little bit of trouble on superstar hop down to all-star and you guys will still get an extra little bit of vc and also my points Tip number 10 is going to have a great VC method for you guys at the end. So another thing I recommend doing though is taking a look at your quest because there's so much things you guys can do in your quest for free VC and just things like that. So like right here, 3,500 VC for doing that, uh, 2,500 for doing this. And there's just a lot of great things that you guys can do. Like these endorsements are huge. So these endorsements are really, really easy to complete. And that's like 5,000 VC right there. And there's just more and more, 1,100 VC, 1,200, 1,400. And it goes all the way up to like 6,000 VC right here with Gatorade. So there's a lot of VC to be made by just checking out your quests and completing these super, super easy quests that can make you guys a lot of VC. But now what everyone's been waiting for, let's hop in to a great VC method. This is by far the number one VC method in the entire game. What I want you guys to do is head over to your main menu on both next gen and current gen then hop over to create roster then if you guys are next gen choose the modern era then go to user created roster and find a roster that says something like this like 99 7 foot 7 goat james or on current gen it should say like 99 7 foot 7 stephen curry then go ahead and download that roster and after you do that head over to play now and then head over to blacktop and once you guys do that then go to one versus one Click in on the left stick to change your roster and then go to user created roster. Then you can just insert this roster right into blacktop. So it's, it's really, really simple to do. Now we can use this 99 overall 7 for 7 LeBron James Then change the game conditions here down to 5 and then advance and then obviously you guys want to set your user to the 99 overall seven foot seven player that you guys have so like on this one it's lebron james obviously he's going to be super freaking tall and now who i want you guys to face is just the worst player on any team really so we'll go with jd davison on the boston celtics and now we are in black top and the game conditions are just a five your opponent also really really sucks usually so you guys can drive the rim if you guys want you'll have it almost every single time or you guys can shoot threes because he's seven seven and he has a 99 three point if you guys want to go a little bit faster you guys can also just let him score and just like that we won a game and it took like maybe and just like that we won the game and it took maybe a minute and we just got 200 vc for playing that game and you guys can rematch and do this over and over again up to five times then once you guys do that five times and you guys get that 1000 vc then all you guys have to do is restart your game and do this method yet again so really that method can get you guys 1000 vc every five minutes please subscribe to the channel right here for some more nba 2k23 tips and check out this video up here